Tis the season when the energy industry puts up its prices. Most of the big six companies have announced increases, pushing the average dual fuel bill above £1,400. To the rescue, they hope, David Cameron and Nick Clegg, writing together in today's Sun about how the government plans to help families save roughly £50 a year. The warm home discount, where poorer households get subsidised energy paid for by other bill payers, will be funded by the government instead. A scheme called ECO, where the less well-off get free insulation, will be spread out over a longer period than planned to make it cheaper. That will help families, and we're doing it in the way that government can do it, which is controlling the costs that families incur because of government policies. And by the way, we're also doing it in a way that is not going to damage the well, environment or in any way reduce our commitment to dealing with climate change. Under Ed's energy plan, gas and electricity bills will be frozen. Labour are pledging to go further with a promise to freeze energy bills overall for nearly two years if they win the election in 2015. Anything they do is better than nothing. Shifting, though, from bills to taxes is taking with one hand to give but with the other. Right. People will still pay more bills. Is there a price freeze? No. Are the energy companies paying? No. We'll get more details on Thursday when the Chancellor delivers his annual autumn statement. The Treasury can pay for what he's planning to do because they've been so good at clamping down on tax avoidance. So much so, there's also enough money to offer people who are moving house a new grant of £1,000 for things like filling in cavity walls, which could also bring bills down. Adam Fleming, BBC News.